one annoying thing that happens when I'm camping is sometimes when the sun goes down and we have to, we still have stuff to do, still have cook cleaning to do, maybe pitching the tent, I have to wear a headlamp, which, you know, that's fine. But as soon as I put on the headlamp and turn on the light, bugs just seem to come from everywhere and just start batting me in the face and it drives me nuts. So one question I had was, does the color of the LED actually impact how the bugs are attracted to the light? Well, I decided to do an experiment to find out for myself. Anecdotally online, people say, yes, the red light attracts less bugs, and, but I wanted to find out more on my, for myself, and so I, I devised an experiment to try and find that out. I'm Peter from carcampingtips.com, and we're gonna try and find out which color LED attracts the least bugs. So first, I'm gonna show you how we did the experiment. All the experiments, we used this headlamp. This is the SUP Fire HL06. Now, I mean, I don't know why I'm reading off a model number off a headlamp, a headlamp is a headlamp, but actually, I really like this headlamp. Um, the one thing that really set this uh, headlamp apart from us, for, uh, for us is that it is rechargeable. It has a lithium ion battery instead of using AAA batteries. And I found with the, the other headlamps, such as the Energizer brand, that use AAA batteries, they tend to drain even when you're not using them. So that means that every time we're done camping, we take out the AAA batteries from our headlamps, which is actually pretty annoying. Um, this is great because even if it, there is a slow drain, you can just recharge it by plugging it in and it just uses a micro USB charger. This worked great for our experiment because instead of having to go through tons of AAA batteries, because I'm leaving this on for a long periods of time, we just plug it in when we're done and you know when it, once it's charged up, we, we have another round of tests. So this worked really great and I'd even recommend it at, uh, as just your go-to headlamp for camping. It also has this really cool feature um, a hand a, like heat detection and you, you can go like that and it'll turn on and off pretty slick so one thing about headlamps is that they have red LED modes and or and or green LED modes but my question was if you have the same level of brightness is it just the is, does the color impact that um, whether bugs are attracted and so to do that I got these cellophane sheets of different colors I got a red a green and um, some yellow sheets and instead of you know there's not really a, a headlamp out there with a yellow mode but it was just for part of the experiment so the and the, the point was is i could use the same light source but change the light color one problem i found is that actually the cellophane sheets still diffuse the light quite a bit and so the brightness does decrease which makes this, this experiment not super scientific next the bug trap i just got a stool I mean, not a big deal, right? But I, then I got a Tupperware and filled it with water and put a dab of soap to break the surface tension so that bugs, um, well then, oh, sorry. Then I got the headlamp and I'm strapping it to the bottom of this Tupperware facing up so the water, the, the light is shining, making the, the, the Tupperware act like a lantern. And I found that worked much better than the light if I just had the headlamp on by itself. This is uh, actually, you know, I don't know, maybe the fifth or sixth iteration of this experiment, and this was the most successful so far. Before we jump to the results, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We're constantly trying to come up with really helpful tips to help you in your camping, whether that's with your planning, whether that's with packing, making your camping more comfortable, um, saving money, or crazy experiments like this to help you know what kind of headlamp you want to buy. You'll be notified of all of our new videos with that kind of information. All right, this is try number like probably five of this experiment. I'm finding that many of them, many of the bugs that are around, and if you're lucky, we might be able to see them, um, are not going into the light at all. I'm um, not going into the water at all, though there are, there are some. Um, but many of them are just crawling on the, the jug or on the stool, um, just around. So I'm going to do my best to count the amount that we have here to try and get a good idea of how many bugs um, are in this um, white light um, LED and then we'll try again with another type of light. And it looks like a major difference between the white LED mode. Um, I saw one bug floating in the water and I, do not, I don't see, I saw a, one other flying around but that was it. There's no, um, beforehand I saw a, a lot of bugs that were, you know, swimming, um, flying around the light itself, kind of buzzing down on the underside, and there are none. And so 
the red LED seems to have made a huge difference uh, as to whether bugs were attracted to that light. So it looks like I, we had the screen light on for an hour and there are no bugs that have been attracted to this light. There's none in the water, none really flying around. That's the green light. Alright, so this, this is with the yellow LED and there are some bugs floating around. There's one in the in the water and there's one on the under, underside and I do see a couple buzzing around so um, but not nearly as much as I saw with the original um, white LED. So what we found was that the default white LED that comes with the headlamp by far attracted the most bugs. I, I counted, I tried to count what was in and what was crawling around and I counted about 35 bugs. The red, the red cellophane, I've counted about two bugs, so not very many at all. With the green, I actually found none. I found zero bugs crawling around or hovering. It was, um, the, the, that, uh, the green actually won as far as the least amount of bugs. The yellow, I found about five bugs that were crawling around in the area. One thing I learned through this experiment is that even though I'm using the same light source, these cellophane sheets still block a significant amount of light. It's meaning that the brightness is, is lower for every time we use those cellophane sheets. So from the results of the experiment, I don't know if it's the intensity of the light or if it's the color of the, uh, the light that impacts whether bugs are attracted to it more. But in any case, it really doesn't matter because these headlamp manufacturers whether it's even a green LED or a red LED, it's going to be less bright than the white LED mode because the, the green and red light L LED modes are intended to preserve your night vision. Where our eyes are less sensitive to red light and so if the red light is really bright and we can see a lot with it, then it's actually impacting our night vision you know, just as much as a white light. Now, the, with a green LED, our eyes are more sensitive um, to the green light, but that means that they can turn the intensity down and you can see better by those green light LEDs. So in, in both cases, the intensity of the light is lower for the green and red LED light modes. And with both of those cases, I saw less, way fewer bugs that were attracted to both of those. And in fact, I didn't see any bugs that were attracted to the green LED mode. So if you're looking for a headlamp and trying to take that into consideration to prevent bugs from going, you know, running into your face, or flying, they don't really run, unless you're like using the headlamp as you're lying on the ground. It's a fair point. In any case, you are going to have less bugs if you have any uh, headlamp with either of those modes. If you guys have any ideas of how I can improve this experiment to get better results, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Thanks for watching.